Welcome back to another brand new Star Stable video. Today, I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on how to get the free cat pet super fast, super easily, everything like that. Girl, you just, pet was that? Who? Okay, anyways, but the free secret cat pet, basically, if you don't know, Star Stable recently introduced the cauldron last year, which is basically a gotcha where you put in three ingredients and you have a little bit of a chance to get an item from the dressage set or if not that, a free cat pet that is only available throughout this Halloween update. So it's a pretty limited time pet, but it is free and super cute. I currently don't have it, but girl, you have it. Julie McFoot, thank you for being here. This is what the cat pet looks like. This is basically what the free cat pet looks like. I haven't done the gotcha that many times yet. I just call it a gotcha because it's randomized, okay, Basti? It's easier in my terminology to call it that. But you don't know what you're getting, basically. Like you do the ingredients, boom random item or random cat pet also i definitely recommend stocking up even if you're like girl i don't want that cat pet like what i know it's free but i don't want it i definitely recommend trying out the cauldron a few times even if you already have the cat pet because you could sell these items for a lot of your vic shillings and i know a common like thing to do is collect these items get a bunch of your vic shillings so that when other seasonal events like Winterfest or equestrian festival roll around again you could go Go to your inventory and just sell some of these items and usually these items do give a pretty good amount of your big shillings so that is also another thing you want to kind of keep in mind when going to the cauldron and getting the items so like even if you don't get the item or cat pet that you want it is not wasted you are going to get a bunch of your big shillings just for keeping at it and collecting these items spam the cauldron basically so anyways this is what this is the tips and tricks video and without any further ado let's get into it then let's go I swear there's something going on the first thing to do when trying to get the cat pet or multiple items and just a bunch of items from the cauldron is definitely to use the life hack for infinite ingredients this will help you cut down the amount of time you spend looking for ingredients the amount of time you spend finding ingredients and also collecting them so if you don't know i have a very in-depth video on how to do this on my channel too long didn't watch i guess a little bit of a gist is basically you will find the daily locations for all of the items that you want for example you want spider's egg and you want a bunch of that you could collect as many as you could possibly find on galloper's keep so you could find like ghost goose spider's egg wiggly worm like girl just anything you want collect it once collect everything from galloper's keep and kind of keep like a plan and also keep in mind where the locations are because this is going to be super helpful to you and once you do that and you follow your little route in collecting all of the items all you want to do is use any of the portals I recommend the back to your big portal leave and then go back to collect the ingredients again And this will actually work as many times as you want They will all respawn in the same exact location So if you spend just like 30 minutes one day a week doing this You will have so many so many ingredients to choose from and you could just do this once and literally have a stock up So yeah, girl, I definitely recommend this and also just Keep in mind where the ingredients are so you don't miss some, nothing like that. You got it. It's late at night and I hear footsteps on the floor. Blood is freezing in my lips. Well, Next, we all know about the daily ingredients kind of thing that Karen will give you, Karen the ghost. So follow those through and then remember that you could do it a second time. You can actually do the cauldron multiple times a day. So don't just be waiting around for one time a day or two times a day when you can hit up like five or six times a day. Definitely set up a schedule that works for you and know the respawn times for when the cauldron will let you kind of try again for the items or the cat pet. And and yeah, girl, definitely helpful. Just do it as many times as possible since this will give you the most chance possible when trying to get the cat pet, which definitely has a smaller spawn rate than some of the other items or like the magical potion dust. So keep that in mind. The spawn rates do differ and you'll probably have to spend more time getting the cats unless you are just a very lucky player. Who 
Next is to clean out your inventory to make sure you always have free space in it. I definitely recommend going to this little like storage area in Gallopers Keep. It is the most helpful thing, but if you know you're gonna spend quite some time looking through the items, collecting items from the cauldron, or just collecting ingredients in general, make sure you have at least, I recommend two rows of inventory space, if not more. And another tip, I love to keep all of the ingredients on me in my Star Stable Quick inventory. So that way, although I can go to the little like Gallopers Keep inventory storage, big Star Stable, home stable storage, I mean to say, if you wanna keep going back to the home stable storage, that will actually take more time than just collecting and keeping all of the ingredients on you at all times in your mini inventory. And also it is great to keep track of how many items you have. You could like be like, oh, I need 10 more of this or something like that. And you will always know how many ingredients you have on you, how many you need and what you want to look for most. So I definitely recommend keeping all of the ingredients that you need on you or any other items that might be helpful throughout the Halloween update, like bones that you find on the haunted trail ride just anything on the haunted trail ride too so yeah okay and final tip that i want to share of course let me get my hair good girly okay anyways but final tip that i want to share is there is currently something going around where basically actually i don't know if star stable passed this or not but i've heard from some people it wasn't working and others that it was but basically you do something with like uh, the inventory over here and like you open this the cauldron up and you could get infinite uses. That does work. Just definitely be cautious about actually doing this because it is not a bug. That That is actually a glitch. So last time Star Stable, I don't know. I don't know if Star Stable would specifically categorize this as a glitch, but last time I did something where I had to like, you know, open up the a tab, like a shop and then exit out stuff star stable actually banned me i'm not even kidding star stable literally banned me for a couple days so that, that definitely be careful if you're gonna do that okay girl because like i'm telling you if star especially since with the cauldron items i wouldn't do this just because cauldron items sell for yorvik shillings and the last time i literally did this with hay so the yorvik shillings i was getting was like five yorvik shillings you get for the items especially the dressage set or even the cat i don't know if you could sell the cat actually but like the dressage item items alone you're going to get a lot of yorvik shillings in-game currency for that so i don't think star stable would be too happy it's a little disclaimer if you are thinking about doing that i have gotten banned for that in the past so just be careful if you're gonna do that okay girly i want you to be safe with your account especially if you get banned during the halloween event you're going to miss out on a lot of like token collecting free items everything like that and um yeah if you're gonna do it especially just don't post about it but just make sure star stable can't find out i would consider this a glitch so i'm not going to show me doing it because i'm sure i'm gonna get banned again if i do that and it's probably gonna be like a day ban or like a couple weeks last time i did that it was like two week ban just watch out if you are someone that is using that method to get infinite cauldron kind of like things and you don't have to wait an hour girl you stuck in the floor but if you are someone that is doing that like opening the inventory and then going back to the cauldron and the infinite chances basically to do the cauldron in an hour yes you will have more chances to get the cat pet but oh watch out okay girly just make sure star stable doesn't find out let me do this real quick oh uh, yeah if i get the cat it's gonna be the cat pet i know it i know it I haven't gotten it yet, but I have a feeling. I know. Oh, it's not. But see how you could get items? Exactly. <laughs> what did I get? Haunted dressage gloves. Oh, those are cute. But again, just watch out if you're doing this because last time I was selling hay that I got from a glitch like that and I literally got banned for like two weeks and it was me selling hay. So I did get 40 sh shillings from it. But yeah, just watch out. Okay. And again, that's if it works because I have heard Star Stable patched it, but I am not sure. Just don't post about it if you do it. 100%, like baseline, baseline. I got you. As always, thank you so much for watching this stuff. What is going on here? This girl ran all the way out here from her horse. 
what is going on in Star City? <laughs> that was far. She's like in a marathon or something. But as always, I hope you have a great day and stay tuned as I post brand new Star Stable videos each and every day. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.